All right, so this tutorial will show you how to make flipbook textures in the Unreal Development Kit. So I'm going to start out here in GIMP or in whatever other uh, photo editing program you want to use. I'm just going to make this 256 by 256. And I'm going to zoom in just a little bit here so that I can see what I'm doing better. And the way that I do it is I'll, I'll make a lot of new layers. And it's really just up to you how you want to do it. Um, if you're using paint or something like that, you, you want to do it a little bit differently, but I'm going to divide this right in half. There we go. Alright. Um, now, by making new layers like this, I can just hide them as I please. So, and all that we're going to do here is uh, we're just going to make something really simple, just kind of. Alright, I'm going to get rid of these lines, save it, and I'm just going to save it to my desktop, and I'm going to save it as test.tga, sorry, and um, what file type you want to save it as is up to you, just as long as the Unreal Engine supports it. So now we're going to go in here, this is the UDK of course, and we're going to go find that file that we brought in test.tga. Now here's the important part. You need to go down and check flipbook. And I'll put this in a tutorials package. Okay, so here it is. Now we want to make a material. Uh, what you name it is really up to you, but... Alright. Now here's the important part. You need to take or you, you need to take this and put in a flipbook sample. Plug that into diffuse. Now it's not gonna do much until you set it up correctly though. And most of the setup is actually done in your texture. So for one thing you want to go and change the horizontal planes or I'm sorry horizontal images to however many images you have here so two and then come down to vertical and two now to kind of show you what this is going to do though now we can also change the frame rate so right now it switches four times per second we can push that up to ten we can bring it down so that it only changes twice per second or we can push it way up. Uh, let's go down to 10 again. And then here, FB method. That's how it decides how to go through. And uh, you can see a list of what each one does on the UDN. Go to the UDN, flip book. They have a whole whole article on flipbook textures, and this will go through and explain exactly how it'll sort through them. And that's really all that there is to it. So now I can go and you can go and add this material. And you can see it'll probably need some tweaking. So And you go to okay. You go to surface properties by hitting F4 while the surface is selected or F5. And there you go, that's all there is to it. So you can see here just a quick example of what it might look like after you've applied it to an actual mesh or you know, just give you some basic ideas of what you might be able to do.